So we're going to talk about the introduction to counting methods. So there's two ways that we can count. It can be with replacement, where all choices are still available each event, or without replacement, where all choices are not available each event. So let's go look at an example. So for example one, I want to know how many ways can we find these outcomes? How many ways can we find these outcomes? So the first one is to flip a coin. So how many ways can we find an outcome for flipping a coin? Well, a coin has two sides. It has heads and tails. So there are two. It's going to be heads or tails. For part B, we're going to roll a single six-sided die. Well, if I roll it one time, how many outcomes do I have? Well, there are six sides to a die, so the answer will be six because of those six sides that each one has. There is a number one, two, three, four, five, and six on all of the sides. All right, let's look at pick a card from a standard deck of cards. Well, if we look at a standard deck of cards, there are 52 of them. There's 52 different cards in the deck. Now. You're going to need to know some things on these cards. First of all, for the different parts of the cards, you have the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then there's a jack, a queen, and a king. Now, the ace can go on either end, but doesn't matter, you just need to know. It's not really a one, it's called an ace. There are four suits. So there's hearts, diamonds, and those are both red. And then we also have spades and clubs. And then clubs. So that's what your cards look like. Now, the cards in each suit since there are four suits and we know there's a total of 52 cards, we can divide it by four and get 13. Or understand, as you're counting, you got to 10, and we, if we say this, it's like a 1. This would be 11, 12, and 13. So there's four suits with 13 cards in each suit, which gets you a total of 52 cards. This is stuff you need to know. I won't have this on the exam for you. You just need to understand what those mean. All right, let's look at the next one. So part D, we want to choose... A features editor from a five person newspaper staff. So, if we're trying to choose that features editor from five person newspaper, newspaper staff, how many choices do we have? 
we have five choices because there's five staff members. So if there's five of them, we can choose one of those five. So let's go look at example two. So we're looking at counting choices for fundraising. The Engineers Without Borders chapter on your campus is raising money to build an, and install a water purifier for an orphanage in Honduras. They are planning to have two major fundraisers, one in the fall semester and a different one in the spring. They are deciding among an online auction, an air hockey tournament, a themed road race, and karaoke night. In how many ways can the chapter select the fundraiser? So here we're looking at some different choices and we need to figure out what we're going to do. Notice, or how many ways we can do it. We've got capital letters for each of the um, options. And if they are planning to have two, but one is in the fall and one is in the spring, but they can't be the same. So here we're going to choose without replacement. These previous ones, if we're just choosing one out, it's with replacement. I mean, not really because we didn't do anything. We're just looking at the ways that we, can, we could do them. But here we're looking at choosing one and then it doesn't get to go back in. We have to choose two different. So that will be the without replacement kind. So for example two, we have the choices of O, A, T, and K. That online auction, the air hockey, the themed road race, and the karaoke night. So how many different ways can we do this? Well, what we're going to do is do, we'll do the online with the air hockey, online with the themed road race, and online with karaoke. Now let's start with this one. We can do the air hockey and then do the online. And we can do the air hockey and the themed road race and the air hockey with the karaoke. Now let's start with the themed road race. So we could have the themed one with the online, the themed with the air hockey and the themed with the karaoke. And then we can start with the karaoke and with the online, karaoke and the air hockey, and the karaoke with the themed road race. So how many do we have? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 ways to select fundraisers for the year. So the next thing we're going to look at is example three. So for example three, we are going to do a tree diagram to show how three coins are flipped. So we're going to show how three coins can be flipped and then we're going to dis discover how many ways they can be flipped. All right, so we've got to draw this out. So the first part, we've got to begin. So we need to begin. And the first coin will either be heads or it will be tails. Now you can draw your tree diagram coming from the top down or from the side. On this type of thing, we're going to do that. And the first thing we're going to flip is, we're going to call this a penny. It doesn't really matter, but we're going to flip a penny, a nickel, and a dime. So if we've got the penny, it's either heads or tails. Next, we'll do the nickel. 
And if we do the nickel, what are the choices? Well, it's heads or tails again. All right, after we flip the nickel, we're going to flip a dime. And again, it'll be heads and tails, and it comes off of each of the previous flips. So, what are our ways that we're getting flipped here? Well, if we follow that first path, we have all heads. So we have heads, heads, heads. Then we have heads, heads, tails. Heads, tail, heads. Heads, tail, tail. Then we come down here and we have tail, head, head tail, head, tail, 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 head, tail, tail, tail. So how many ways do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight ways that they can be flipped. Now, this is with replacement because you can't take away the choice of a head or a tail. It's attached to the coin. You can't do it, so it's always going to be with replacement, okay, when you're flipping coins. All right, example four. For example four, we're looking at rolling two die, or two dice, because we actually have two of them. How many different numbers can appear on the upturned faces? So we're also just counting the ways, just like we did before. Or how many outcomes can you get? We're kind of looking at that as well. So how many different numbers can appear? I want this to be clear. Understand the numbers can only be one through six, but it's more like a combination. So how many different combinations? Let's do that. Combinations of numbers can appear on the upturned faces. And the faces are the sides of the dice, okay? All right, so we're gonna roll. We're gonna begin. I'm gonna draw my tree drag gram the other way this time. And we have six dice, or six sides, right? So I'm going to roll the first die. So the first one has one, two, three, four, five, and six. Those are the choices. Now we're going to roll the second dice, and again, it has six sides. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. 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 And one, two, three, four, five, and six. All 
All right, so you can see we've got six of those waves. So we can add those all up. We've got six plus six plus six plus six plus six and plus six. And when we add those, we get 36. Or we can go, well, there's six choices at each one and there are six at each one. So we could say six times six is 36. Again, this is without replacement because we're just taking what we get. We're not putting any of them back.